Section 5.3 Graphs of Polynomial Functions The revenue in millions of dollars for a fictional cable company from 2006 through 2013 is shown in Table 1. Here's your years going from 2006 to 2013, so we can see that number is increasing. And then the revenues goes from 52.4 million all the way to 47.1, so it's decreasing as far as the revenues are concerned. Now the revenue can be modeled by the polynomial function. So here's a polynomial function has a fourth degree polynomial function. Now it's in terms of R and T, so R here represents the revenue in millions of dollars, and T represents the year, with T equal to 6, which would correspond to 2006. Now over which intervals is the revenue for the company increasing? Over which intervals is the revenue for the company decreasing? These questions, along with many others, can be answered by examining the graph of the polynomial function. We have already explored the local behavior of quadratics, a special case of polynomials. In this section, we'll explore the local behavior of polynomials in general. Now let's go back to this paragraph here. Okay, and let's take a look at over which intervals is the revenue for the company increasing. So we can see it's increasing from here to here. We can see that it is increasing from 48.6 to 48.7. And then if we wanted to find out where are the intervals for the revenue for the company decreasing, Well, it's decreasing from here to here. It's also decreasing from here to here. Decreasing from here to here. It stays the same here. And then it's decreasing from there to there. So it decreased from 2007 to 2008, 2008, 2009, 2009, 2010, 2012, and 2013. And it increased between the years 2006 to 2007 and 2011 and 2012. Now we can see that by looking at the graph, not the graph, excuse me, the table. Now we want to be able to look at this when we're looking at a graph. Where is it increasing? Where is it decreasing? Now recognizing characteristics of graphs of polynomial functions. Polynomial functions of degree two or more have graphs that do not have sharp corners. Recall that these types of graphs are called smooth curves. Polynomial functions also display graphs that have no breaks. Curves with no breaks are called continuous. Figure 1 shows a graph that represents a polynomial function and a graph that represents a function that is not a polynomial. So if you look at the first one here, if you imagine yourself putting a pencil on this graph, and if you follow the graph, okay, um, and never have to pick up the pencil, then that means that that's considered continuous. Now in a second example, if you graph, if you follow and trace that one, here you keep tracing and tracing using your pencil, you can trace the whole way, and then all of a sudden you have a jump. So now you have to stop and then start from here and then move there. Therefore, this is not continuous. So therefore, it doesn't represent a function. So let's go ahead and just label this here. This is a continuous function. And this is not continuous. And we can see that there's a break there. 